Hello West Ham Network, it's Holly and I'm here with your Hammers headlines for today, Tuesday the 11th of June, run in association with KUMB.com. Today we have got stories of West Ham getting rather feisty and two potential West Ham exits, so let's jump straight into your Hammers headlines. <laughs> so much for watching as always if you're new around here hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up but for your first story today West Ham are taking no prisoners this transfer window after it emerged that Forrest hijacked our move for international defender Vital Tim Stighton is fuming that they have been poaching our Brazilian targets and it looks as though he's out to seek revenge so yes West Ham are launching a revenge mission by looks of it looking to lure away striker Taiwo Aoni so his future is uncertain at the club the Athletic have reported that Lopetegui's side admire the player so it sounds like we're keen so this could get quite interesting now he's understood to be interested in moving elsewhere he was limited to 20 appearances last season with a groin injury but he's also playing second fiddle to Chris would. So it makes it very difficult for him to get game time and he wants to be playing. Could we offer him that at West Ham? Potentially we could. That said, it will likely take a very significant offer for Nottingham Forest to part with the player. But Forest will need significant funds to actually be able to fund the Vital deal. And they don't have much available budget to spend if they're going to avoid the PSR sanctions, which also known as the Profit and Sustainability Rule Sanctions. It's very, very exciting. So this wouldn't be the first time that we've gone in for the attack after missing out from another club. As Ajax know all too well, after getting Carlos Borges, we were all sad at the time and then we ended up making them part with Caduce and Alvarez so could history repeat itself stay tuned and let's see how this one progresses For your second story, Galatasaray are reported to be considering a move for Vladimir Sufal so journalist Erink Bilikan said that Sufal is one of the key names that's in consideration for the Super League club when they're looking to sign a new right back. So they're pursuing Kambedi from Lyon as their first choice. But it looks as though if this falls through, 31-year-old Sufal could be set to leave West Ham if a fair offer comes in. So I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this one. Drop us a comment below with how you would feel about Sufal's departure. But it's one we've gone back and forth on for so many years because we know he's not young and we know he often lacks the pace. And sometimes against faster wingers, you really, really spot that. But he has done a job for us. When we've not had him, we've missed him. And he has provided a fair few assists last season. So this would leave us with extra pressure to sign a new right back on top of our current squad requirements. So it's a very interesting one. I don't know. I'd like us to get a good offer for Sufal, but I'm a little bit nervous to leave him so soon. Sorry if you can hear a baby in the background. Let us know, though, what you think down below in the comments. And finally, West Ham's 25-year-old goalkeeper, Nathan Trott, looks as though he could be heading to FC Copenhagen this summer as advanced talks continue. And it looks as though we're in for a real defensive department shake-up. Um, the goalkeeping department's basically being, being pulled apart as we know it. So Trott's come through the academy, but he has only made one senior appearance for the club, so he hasn't had the chance to prove himself. Loan opportunities have shown how keen he is to get game time. He's always been keen to sort of go out and go and play. But this is something that he's really struggled to find at West Ham. Um, we've obviously had Ariola, we've had Fabianski, and then it's just made it so difficult for him to even have a look in with games. But would you be sad to see Trot leave West Ham before having the opportunity to prove himself? Or do you think it's just not the right time to give him game time? <laughs> Sorry again if you can hear baby chatting in the background, but let us know your thoughts in the comments section because it definitely looks as though we're about to see some really big changes following Joseph and Ang's release with Lopetegui keen to sign a new goalkeeper, potentially to replace Fabianski from what we're hearing. So there you have it. Those are your Hammers headlines for today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button so you never have to miss out. And why not turn notifications on so that you can uh, you can be notified every time one of these videos goes live. Thank you so much as always for watching. I'm going to go and entertain this baby. And until next time, have a great one. Come on, you irons. <laughs>